If you've been wondering how Etsy sellers make that super popular wavy retro font, then look no further, this video is for you. If you watched my last video on this, you can see that you can make this in Canva, but it actually required a lot of steps, which includes having to export the file, bring it into a brand new program, and then re-bring it back. But now I discovered a way better way how to do this, and that is using Kittle. And if you have not used Kittle before, heard of Kittle, they are a brand new competitor with Canva. They are a brand new design platform that makes designing for t-shirts super easy, with tons of different text effects that you can use and lots of templates that you can start with for your designs. And with that, let's get designing. So first what we wanna do is we want to create a new Kittle file and we wanna make sure that this is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels with 300 DPI, so this prints well. And then we can create a text box and a quick shortcut to do that is to just hit T on your keyboard. And then you're gonna type in the word that you want to show up for your groovy retro text. So I'm gonna do a nurse shirt and I'm just gonna type in nurse. Then you can change the size by highlighting this and increasing the size over here. Just drag out this so it's all in one line. Or you can do it in a quicker way by just grabbing the corner and scaling in and scaling out. So just taking a look back at our example. So I'm checking out what type of font this is and I'm gonna see if we can find anything similar in Kittle. So let's take a look at this and let's go back. So I spent some time looking through with the Kittle fonts. There are tons. This is probably the closest one I found. This one is called Sunny Drop, but there are a few around Sunny Drop that are very similar as well, like Sunshade, but I'm definitely liking Sunny Drop the most. But here's a quick tip. If you want the exact font that you see in a picture, you can save the picture, upload it to what the font, it's myfonts.com slash pages, what the font. But if you just Google what the font, you'll find this page, upload the image, and then you're going to get a bunch of different options. And they're going to scan the text and try to guess which font they're using. And here you can see maybe if you can buy one that is extremely similar. So looking through here, they're all quite similar, but not as close as the one that we brought up. And you can see they're all pretty pricey, but if Kittle, does not have the font that you are looking for at all, a great library to find some fantastic fonts that you can use is Creative Fabrica. They are a subscription service, but you get access to mockups, fonts, and a lot of different PNG and SVG files that you can actually use on your print on demand products. So you can actually look through their fonts. I just put in Groovy and you can filter by fonts. And you can see that they have tons of really similar ones that you can also choose to download. Let's say I found this on Creative Fabrica and I like it a lot more than any of the fonts that I could find in my design platform. You just have to hit download and you can see right here that commercial usage is allowed. If you don't have a subscription, you can also buy these for pretty cheap. And then when we come back into Kittle, you can hit this little button here to do a font upload and you can bring in that new OTF file that we just saved. I'm gonna hit add to library and then we can use this anytime moving forward. So every time we open up a brand new file, this font is gonna be here. And then I'm gonna search for it, always groovy. And now we have this style, which might be a little bit closer to that I do crew that we are modeling after. But now comes the fun, simple part. And that is making that wave. So to do that, you just wanna click on your text. And you're just going to scroll down under transformation. And I like to just use flag. And then you're going to see these little kind of like lines show up. These are how we can easily adjust the curve. So say this is a little bit too dramatic for my liking. I can make it a lot less. I can make it a lot more. I can bring this down and I can just play with this until I'm happy with the flag formation that I have created. If you want to go a little bit further with your design, you can also add some really cool text effects just in this corner here. I'm gonna add this one. I'm gonna play with the offset. Oh, I, that's a little bit more than I meant. I'm gonna change the angle a bit. I'm liking that. And then once you go back, now you have two options up here to change your text color. So I'm gonna do a light pink and then a dark red. And then I can go back and play with these settings a little bit more until I get it how I like it. And then you're probably gonna notice we only have one of these, but in the design that we're modeling over, there are three lines saying the exact same thing. So either you can do this three times or you can just copy this or just select it and then you're gonna hit Command C and Command V. It's going to paste the object and you can just drag down another one 
and do that again and drag it down another one. Or you can choose not to go too fancy and just do the flat image. And then we can do what we did before. We're gonna copy and paste and bring it down. Copy and paste and bring it down. And if you ever want to later adjust the curve, just hit this little edit transform button and you're gonna get back all these anchor points again. Then you can change the colors to any color that you would like and upload them to your favorite products, maybe a t-shirt, maybe a sweatshirt. And here's just a mock-up of perhaps how your Etsy listing would look. Thanks guys. And if you watched my last video on how to do this with Canva and Photopea, let me know which version you think was simpler. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be Kittle, but I'm interested to hear your opinion as well. All right, thanks guys, and I'll see you next week.